KX News Storm Team. Welcome back to KX News at 6. Let's go ahead and look at our storm team radar here this evening. Seeing mostly clear skies across the state. Some light clouds trying to push across central portions of North Dakota, but overall our skies should stay mostly clear tonight with just a few passing clouds from time to time here. Looking at our temperatures right now, we're still quite warm across the state, sitting in those 40s and 50s in most spots. A little bit cooler up to the far north there. 35 in Newburgh, 32 out in Crosby, 36 in Plentywood, but we got widespread 40s and 50s. Still 50 51 in the capital city right now here past the 6 o'clock hour. Looking at our winds right now are primarily out of the north northwest, anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Some of those stronger gusts are mainly out across the western tier of the state. We're seeing a 14 mile per hour reading out for our friends in Sydney, but overall these winds should stay fairly consistent heading into tomorrow before increasing during the late morning and early afternoon hours, possibly seeing gusts of 30 miles per hour at times tomorrow and again on Friday here. Looking at our wind chill report brought to you by Absolute Comfort for plumbing and heating. Not much in the way of a wind chill right now as those temperatures are quite mild here for us across the state. Seeing a bit of one up towards the north, however, feels like 33 in Minot, 24 up in Crosby, but most of these central and southern areas aren't really seeing a wind chill right now because it is too warm. Looking at our mid-level temperature map right now, again, we're still sitting under the influence of this nice ridging pattern across the western half of the state. That's going to really continue into the weekend and into very early next week. As you roll through Saturday and Sunday here, you see that consistent ridging pattern. Still seeing that yellows and greens down to our south, giving us those much warmer temperatures than we're used to seeing this time of year. But as you push into Tuesday, you see this troughing pattern come down from Canada. That's going to dramatically drop our temperatures Monday into to Tuesday, some strong winds pushing in Monday as a result. It's going to be quite the cold front that pushes through. You'll see that reflected in our seven day forecast coming up just a minute here. Looking ahead to tomorrow anyway, our high should be quite warm again, getting into the 40s and the 50s really across the majority of the board here. 51 in Bismarck, 47 in Dickinson. Again, wouldn't be surprised some of those areas get close to the mid 50s before all is said and done tomorrow. Areas like Minot and Williston may get close to the upper 40s as we get through tomorrow afternoon as well. Today we warmed up quite considerably, getting to 59 here in Bismarck, which tied our all time high record here. So one more degree would have broken it, but came up quite close, but not, not quite there. Temperatures on Friday a little bit cooler overall, but still quite warm. Seeing widespread 40s across the board, some 30s in those northern areas, but 47 for Beach, 45 in Mobridge, seeing those 30s out towards the northeast corner there. Our precision cast again, not showing much really through the end of the week into the weekend dry conditions for the most part. You may see a light flurry or two out towards Devil's Lake and Jamestown Friday and Saturday, but overall not too bad looking at that system. As you roll into Sunday and Monday, that dry weather does continue. Watching a chance for some snow or rain perhaps Tuesday of next week. Williston's five day forecast, we're in the 40s really the next three days, getting into the 50s again Sunday into Monday there. Dickinson's five day forecast highs again consistently mid to upper 40s really through Saturday. You see 55 on Monday. That will be the warmest day of the next 10 day period. Minot seven day forecast again, a similar outlook here, seeing a high of 42 tomorrow, a slight cool down for Friday and then 40s and 50s. But look at that cool down on Tuesday, 24 for a high on Tuesday. Similarly in Bismarck, 50s really the next five days or so and a big drop off down for Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> But we're looking at like low 60s there by what Monday that could yeah. possibly yeah. happen. Yeah, it's going to be a big drop there Monday to Tuesday, a 30 degree swing there. But by the time I get to Thursday and Friday, back in the 40s again. So a yeah. little bit of a reprieve. Let's just keep the 50s around. I'm OK with that. I know, right? We'll take it for February. <laughs> Kenny, thanks so much. And coming up next when the NFL season comes.